This is a brief tutorial on how to search for articles using ProQuest Central available through NC Live. To access ProQuest Central, go to the library's homepage by simply clicking on the library link in the upper right hand corner. Once you're on the library's homepage, click on the hyperlink Library Research Databases. And this will prompt you to plug in your WebAdvisor credentials, both your username and your password. Once you've provided your WebAdvisor credentials, you should be directed to a blue Research Database menu screen. ProQuest Central is available through NC Live, so simply click on the NC Live link at the very top. Once you are at the NC Live homepage, the easiest way to gain access to ProQuest Central is to simply click on the Articles icon on the main page. And you'll see a number of different databases available on NC Live that house scholarly journals magazines, and newspaper content. Simply scroll down to the database ProQuest Central. Once you've clicked on ProQuest Central, you should be directed to the ProQuest Central Advanced Search page. Here is where you have a number of options. You can plug in key terms that best represent your topic. Next to the fields where you can enter your key terms is the Anywhere field and that is the default. So basically whatever key terms you plug into the database, the database will look for those key terms anywhere in either the title, the abstract, which is a short summary of the article, or even the full text of the article. Also, under search options, the limit to full text will always be checked for you. So any results that you retrieve, you should be able to get the full text of the document. Next to that is the Peer Reviewed filter. If you click on Peer Reviewed, you will only return articles from scholarly, peer-reviewed publications, meaning they have gone through a review of their peers or experts in their field before they were published in that particular scholarly journal. If you click on Scholarly Journals, you will return publications that are peer-reviewed, but you may return some publications that are only scholarly in nature, not necessarily peer-reviewed. So if your instructor is asking for peer-reviewed, simply click on the peer-reviewed filter. In addition, you do have publication date, but I will talk a little bit more about that later in the tutorial. So I've entered some key terms here for a particular search, fracking and water pollution. And as you'll notice, water pollution is in quotes. So if you have a phrase that you want the database to search, always make sure you put that in quotes. And you can see on the right hand side that I clicked on the drop down and I've selected anywhere except full text or all. So I'm asking the database to search for my terms, fracking and water pollution, anywhere in the article, meaning the title or the abstract, but not the full text of the article. When you select anywhere except full text, you will generally get fewer results, but you will get more targeted results in your search. So keep that in mind when you're searching ProQuest Central. And here we are, I've selected my key terms and I've got my anywhere except full text. And now I've got 584 articles to choose from. And I want to talk a little bit about how to refine your results on the right hand side. And you can see from this view that under source type, I have a breakdown of the various types of sources that I found in this particular search. So a large majority were coming from newspapers, some from trade journals, some wire feeds, some reports from government reports, magazines, so on and so forth. If I click on the More Options link right below Magazines, 
it will bring up this box where I can either include or exclude certain types of sources from my list. So let's say, for example, I only want to include trade journals, magazines, and scholarly journals. I could simply click on those and click on Apply, and I will weed out the other sources from my list. Also keep in mind when you're looking for more current information to look at the publication date on the right hand side. There's two ways that you can weed out older material. You can either move the slider to the right, the bar graph, or you can click on enter a specific date range and put in a date range of material that you want to look at. Generally speaking, with current event topics, you don't want to find information older than five years, and that also includes health and medical information as well. So I moved my publication date slider to the right, and I found 102 results by doing so. So I've weeded out some older material. Now let's say I want to cite by clicking on the first four articles on the left-hand side, I brought up the Work Cited page here. And I, I did choose MLA as my option. Um, you will find that you have a number of different options like APA and ASA for sociology, so some various ones. But I selected MLA 7th edition. I clicked on Change and Done, and you can copy and paste the articles from the database into your Works Cited page. But make sure you always cross-check with your Rules for Writers Handbook, because there could be periods out of place, spacing issue, italics don't always transfer properly, so make sure you always double-check that with an another source. Also, you can cite articles or email articles, excuse me. The email option gives you a couple of ways you can do this. Um, click on bibliography and that will initiate you being able to choose MLA or APA citation, ASA citation, uh, various styles. Also you can include either one or multiple email addresses. And make sure when you're emailing articles or an article to yourself to plug in something in the Your Name field. It doesn't really matter what you put in there, but they do require you to put something in that field. And then click Continue. And the emails or the articles will arrive in your email um, in just a few minutes. Let's take a look at an article just a typical article in ProQuest Central. And this is um, giving you the title, of course, Examining the Global Anti-Fracking Movement. And there's hyperlinks to the author, and many of the articles in ProQuest Central have multiple authors, but you would have a hyperlink for all of the authors, and you can see what, if anything else, that they've published in this particular particular database. Also, you will have a hyperlink to the publication where this article was originally published. Um, and of course, publication date information, the abstract, which is a short summary of what the article is about, and of course, the full text of the document. And if you choose articles that are available in full text, you can also, or PDF, you can get to the PDF document on the right-hand side. Um, so lots of uh, different ways to manage your articles, whether it be through citation or through email or for both. If you have any questions about using ProQuest Central, please contact the ACC library staff located on the third floor in the G building. Call us at 336-506-4116 or shoot us an email if you have questions at lrc at Thank you.